Do you remember the Breaking Bad TV series where Walt created ricin and wanted to kill Tuco Salamanca? Have you ever wondered how that poison works? Ricin, a highly toxic protein found in the seeds of the castor oil plant, is renowned for its potent lethality and the ease with which it can be extracted. This toxin has long been a focus of concern due to its potential as a biological weapon, given its extreme toxicity and the relative accessibility of its source material. Ricin's structure consists of two polypeptide chains or subunits, a larger subunit or A chain known as ricin toxin A with enzymatic activity, a smaller subunit or B chain known as ricin toxin B. The B chain facilitates ricin's entry into cells by binding to specific receptors on the cell surface. Ricin can exert its toxicity through various routes of exposure, including ingestion, inhalation or skin contact through wounds. Once inside the body, ricin gets into the cell via receptor-mediated endocytosis, it undergoes intracellular trafficking to reach the endoplasmic reticulum or ER. Ricin's activation process specifically occurs within the ER. Within the ER, ricin's A chain is cleaved from the B chain and released into the cytosol. The A chain possesses enzymatic activity and removes an adenine residue from a conserved loop of the ribosomal RNA. This modification inhibits the ability of ribosomes to bind elongation factor 2 or EF2, essential for protein synthesis. Without EF2 binding, ribosomes cannot efficiently translocate along messenger RNA, leading to ribosome inhibition. This inhibition disrupts the production of vital proteins needed for cell function, leading to cell death and, if enough cells are affected, organ failure. Symptoms of ricin poisoning typically manifest between 2 to 6 hours following ingestion and within 8 hours following inhalation, though in some cases they may appear as late as 20 hours later. These symptoms include abdominal pain, vomiting, diarrhea, muscular discomfort, limb cramps, circulatory collapse, breathing difficulties, and dehydration. Symptoms may vary depending on the route but commonly include fever, cough, difficulty breathing, vomiting, diarrhea, dehydration, and organ failure. The severity of symptoms is typically dose-dependent, with certain manifestations more specific to the root of intoxication. For instance, injected ricin may induce muscular pain and circulatory collapse, along with localized pain at the injection site. Despite ongoing exploration of ricin's potential applications in immune cancer therapy and vaccine development, no specific antidote or treatment is currently available for ricin poisoning.